Hi all, it's Ziv from Elemental. Today, I have something special in store for you. I'm sure you must have come across our extraordinary Black Friday monster pop-up. Wonder how we made it? It's not as hard as it might seem. The pop-up has our Black Friday monster set as its background image. And if we open the navigator by pressing Ctrl or Command I, we can see that it consists of two sections. The helicopters, for example, are two images, each set with its own custom position and motion effect, just like these navigator labels indicate. OK, enough chit chat. Let's dive in and make it together. First, in your dashboard, go to Elemental's pop up builder. Click Add New and give your pop up a name. Then create the pop up. We won't be choosing a pre made pop up from our library because we are building ours from scratch. So go ahead and hit close. In pop-up settings, under layout, set the width to 1000 pixels and leave the rest as is. In the style tab, under pop-up, set the background type to classic and choose the Black Friday monster image. In color, slide the opacity all the way down. Then set the image to no repeat. Set the position to custom and set the X position to 50%, which is exactly in the middle of the column. Then remove the box shadow. In the overlay dropdown, set the background type to classic and give it this dark color. Drag down the opacity to about 75%. In the close button dropdown, set the position to outside and set the vertical and horizontal positions to 25 and 33% respectively. Set the color to white and drop the opacity to about halfway. On hover, set the color to white at about 80% opacity. I'll leave the background color blank and set the size to 21. Now let's move on to the advanced tab. The only thing we will do here is give the pop-up a padding of 200 pixels all around. Cool, our Black Friday monster pop-up is taking shape. It's time to add the helicopter images, texts, and button widgets. Let's start by dragging in an image widget. I'll choose my cool left helicopter image. And in the style tab, set the width to 100%. In the advanced tab, I'll start off with the custom positioning settings. I'll give it a custom width of 270 pixels. And set its position to absolute, so I can place it exactly where I want. I'll make sure to set the horizontal and vertical orientations to top and left. I can either drag the helicopter to where I like, or set the position accurately by using the horizontal and vertical offset sliders, like you see here. Now let's bring it to life a bit. In the motion effects drop down, toggle on mouse effects and set the mouse track direction to direct. This way, the helicopter moves in the same direction as your mouse. Cool. Let's give it an entrance animation as well. Slide in down looks good here. Great. Now let's add the right helicopter image and make them fly around the Black Friday monster together. I'll go ahead and duplicate the image and change it to the right helicopter. In the advanced tab, under positioning, change the horizontal orientation to right and set the offset to 20 pixels. Set the vertical offset to negative 120 pixels. Now let's tweak the motion effect a bit. In mouse track, change the direction to opposite and speed to 3. Cool! Now it seems as if the helicopters fly independently. I'll go ahead and open up the navigator so we can see what we have so far. I'll call this section Helicopters, so things are clear. Great, let's move on to the texts and button. I'll go ahead and add a new section with one column and drag it below Helicopters. I'll name it Texts plus Button. For this pop-up, I've gone ahead and added three individual heading widgets for my texts, so I can style them to fit in the pop-up exactly how I like. I'll start with the first one. Drag in the heading widget and type the text. Then align it to the center and style it a bit.
duplicate the widget and change the text. I'll set the font size to 36 pixels and line height to 0.1EM so it moves a bit towards the first heading. Then duplicate and change the text again. Here I'll set the font size to 120 pixels and line height to 1.1EM so there's more space between these headings. Great, we're almost done. Time to drag in the button widget. Change the text and add a link over here. Align the button to the center and set the size to medium. I'll choose the gift icon from our awesome library and set it to appear after the text. I'll add some spacing as well. Great, now let's style this discount button. I'll leave the default font family, which in our case is Active Grotesque, and I'll set the size to 18 pixels, weight to 700, and transform to uppercase. Great, now for the colors. I'll give it a white text color and a nice pink red for the background. On hover, I'll just give it a slightly darker background color. Then add a 100 pixel border radius on all sides. Lastly, in the advanced tab, I'll add a little bit of padding on the top so there's more space between the text and the button. And in motion effects, I'll give it an entrance animation. I'll go for fade in up and give it a slight delay. Cool. Now that we're done designing, it's time to publish and set this pop-up's conditions and triggers. I'll add a condition for this pop-up to only show on the upgrade landing page. And I'll set the on-page exit intent to trigger the pop-up, so that it will show when visitors move their mouse towards the edge of the page. In advanced rules, I'll go ahead and set it to only show once, so we won't annoy anyone, God forbid. In show on devices, I'll set it to only show on desktop, Depending on your marketing campaign, pop-ups on mobile devices don't really contribute to it. Of course, feel free to make some responsive adjustments and set it to show on mobile as well. Well, that's it. Now you know how to create a Black Friday monster pop-up and bring your own ones to life. Have fun playing around and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips and tutorials. Ciao for now.